What's up guys, welcome to another workout tutorial video. Today is focused on shoulders. So as I'm sure you already know, we have three main muscles in your shoulder, three heads of the deltoid. So we have our posterior delt, our lateral or medial head of the deltoid, which rests on the side of your arm, and then the front delt, which is right beside the chest at the top of the upper arm, right above the bicep. So we want to make sure we target all three. So I'm starting with activation as usual, and I'm starting with the posterior delts. And the reason I like to start with the posterior delts is because that is often the most overlooked muscle on the shoulder and it's typically the weakest as well. So starting by activating the posterior delts, making sure I'm getting plenty of posterior delt work. This is a cable reverse fly. It's a pretty simple movement. We're just pressing the arms apart to activate the rear delt. Now, when we're doing this, it's easy for the upper back to take over the movement. So we don't just wanna go through the motions. We wanna make sure we're actively pressing those cables apart. You can see I'm gripping the cable instead of the handle. And I like that because in uh, taking the grip out of the equation, you're able to hold it with a more natural grip and really just focus on pressing apart and make sure you're feeling the back of the shoulder, not the upper back. Second exercise is also an activation exercise, a lateral raise for the medial delts. So we're doing the side of the shoulders now. Again, this one, your upper back, your trapezius can take over the movement. So we wanna make sure we're pressing the dumbbells apart and make sure we're feeling it in the side of the shoulder. You can use a lot of weight and do it with sloppy form and really not get much out of the movement if your traps are taking over. So we wanna make sure we're not shrugging at all. We're just pressing apart and focusing on that time under tension for the side of the shoulder. All right, the first compound movement is gonna be a Smith machine shoulder press. So as you can see, I'm keeping my shoulders back, chest nice and tall, so I wanna keep my scapula locked in. And then I'm pressing only to about three quarters of full lockout. So if you go to full lockout, your triceps actually take over the movement a little bit. And I don't want that. So I'm trying to keep constant tension on the shoulder the whole time. So I'm going to the chest, getting a little bit of a stretch there and just about three quarters lockout right where I'm feeling the most contraction on the delts. Now this one really targets all three heads, but it's primarily gonna be the medial and the front deltoid. So next exercise, we're going back to another variation of a lateral raise. So this one is just a seated lateral raise. And I like to throw a lot of isolation movements for the shoulder, especially the side, because it's a big focus area. And you'll find with your shoulders, instead of doing a lot of heavy presses, doing more isolation movements will give you more return on your investment. So the seated lateral has the benefit of getting a little bit more of a stretch. And as you know, when you stretch the muscle more, when you focus on the eccentric, you're going to facilitate larger increase in muscle growth. So I really like the seated variation. Again, focusing on pushing the weights apart, not shrugging the shoulders and just maintaining good posture where you're not swinging the weight or using momentum to get the weight up. So trying to keep that tension all on the medial top there. Next up, we have our cable upright row. Now you can do an upright row with the barbell, but it has been proven to um, be a less than ideal exercise for the shoulders because you're putting a lot of weight on the internal rotation, which is a very weak area. So you can cause some damage if you're doing barbell upright rows. So I find the cable, I get a lot out of this and I'm able to minimize the amount of stress on that rotator cuff. So I want to drive my elbows up and pull the ropes apart at the same time, leading with the elbows. So you're really still able to feel this a lot in your posterior delts and medial delts without as much uh, without as much 
risk of injury is if you're doing a barbell variation. So this variation of a cable front raise is not only going to target the front delts, which a typical front raise would, but you see I'm coming all the way back, um, bring my arms all the way overhead here. So you lose a little bit of tension on the front delts, but you're really working the posterior at a good angle. So you're working all three heads of the deltoid with this one. And front delts are easy to hit and you hit them a lot on chest anyway. So I try not to spend a lot of focus on my front delts just to avoid overtraining. And this variation of the front raise is able to get front delts just enough. And then I'm getting a little bit more focus on the range of motion. And it's a great functional exercise too for shoulder health. So you'll stay fairly light on this and just make sure you're not swinging your back into it at all. Maintain a natural spinal position. Just try and reach those arms back as far as you can. All right, the final exercise is just another exercise for the posterior delts. So this is going to be a reverse fly on a pec deck. So just a little bit of a different feel than the cable machine but hitting the same muscle and you know it's i'm starting and finishing with the rear delts because they're so important and so overlooked so it's typically going to be the weakest link in the shoulders and um, having weak posterior delts actually can attribute to a lot of shoulder dysfunction as well so really important muscle to make sure you're targeting not just for aesthetics but also for your shoulder health in general so try the workout out and let me know what you think hopefully these tips helped you out don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you're liking the content, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And go ahead and smash that like button if you could for me. Have a great day, guys. See you guys in the next video. Everybody knows that's a fact, yeah, I just want my words to impact, yeah, I just want my words to all last, yeah, not sorry if I put you on blast, oh. Uh. They know just what they see on the outside, they don't know just what I'm like on the inside, if you knew what I could do, you'd watch your backside, if you knew what I could do, you'd stay in at night, I'm the type of dude you don't wanna fuck.